is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we are discussing the epic return of cm punk last night on wwe backstage guys yes wwe backstage is this new show on fs1 if you guys don't know what that is it's like a sports network you guys know smackdown went over to fox and you know they kind of brought back this sort of show like talking smack you know back in the day not as real not as great i don't think i don't think it's going to be as good because you know talking smack was unscripted it didn't have any bull crap going on talking smack was a real deal wish we still had that but you can guys can see here last night he comes out you know they kind of teased it i think i think that's what they did renee young came out and was like you know on wwe backstage we're gonna have this secret guest we're gonna have this special guest and you know the rumors are flying around you know phil brooks cm punk may be showing up he may be signing with wwe or whatever the case to get onto wwe backstage and everything like that and sure enough last night guys um he walks out and it legitimately gave me chills and like it, it was crazy I know it's not a big deal right now. It's not the biggest deal in the world because it's not like he came out on Monday Night Raw and he's like, I'm back, bitch. I'm about to beat the hell out of you. That's not what he did. That's not the shit that went down, right? So, you know, not, nothing like that happened. So what I think is going to take place now, though, the biggest thing is that his foot has been in the door, right? I mean, there's no way that WWE backstage, like, didn't hire him. Like, there's no way he didn't go through Vince McMahon at some point, right? Like, Vince McMahon and CM Punk had to have gotten along here. And so that is what I'm hoping is the case is that, you know, this is this is sort of our bridge, right? So we have CM Punk sort of on this little talk show. Then the bridge bridges the gap between back WWE backstage little talk show bullshit over, on over to actual TV wrestling in the ring. So, I mean, there's definitely some ways you can look at it. I mean, it's definitely possible, but the biggest thing is that you have to look at this as this is the first stepping stone towards that happening. So you, you can't look at it as, you know, it's not a big deal, it's whatever, but you also can't overreact and be like, oh my god, he's in the ring. So it's kind of like, you have to be somewhere in the middle here and everything like that. And also guys, I did want to mention, on my community tab right now, there's something that I really want you guys to focus on. It's something, I'll probably upload a video later talking about it, but it's very, very important regarding the channel and regarding the new rules coming to YouTube, talking about how videos are supposed to be uh, meant for kids now and they're making big changes to it and everything and I'll probably get into it in a later video. But if you hear me cursing or something like that more often, then that is the case. That is the reason behind it. But anyways, guys, CM Punk coming back is a very big deal. I think on WWE backstage, it was like Renee Young, Booker T, Adam Cole for some reason. I don't even know why Adam Cole was there. I think it was Adam Cole. I, I didn't really look at the clip that good. I just yeah, I just saw CM Punk, right? Phil Brooks was on screen. I just shut the hell up and watched the video, right? So that's basically what went down. And he comes out, and apparently he's going to be on this, like, analyst backstage uh, type deal. It's like a, again, it's like a talk show. It's going to be very similar. It's going to be, like, analytics and stuff. Fox wanted something to go along with SmackDown to make it analytical and, you know, to get into all the, the things. And I had to upload a video giving you my thoughts on it because I felt that a lot of people would want to know. I also uploaded a Bill McKenna interview reaction. Mattel did a QA and a with uh, Bill McKenna on Ringside Fest and I did a reaction video to that, uh, you know, sort of reacting to all of his answers to the questions that they asked him. So if you guys want to check that out, that is on the channel as well. But I figured today would be a double upload because I wanted to get up my thoughts on the CM Punk situation. I got all the CM Punk elite right here. Only eight of them. I'd like to have more. You know, I'd like to have more CM Punk elites. We are missing uh, two or three I think from the bunch and so uh, I would like to track those down. But this is all we got for now. But maybe this is a big step because I don't know if he signed a deal with WWE because if he signed a deal with WWE or a Legends deal or a merchandise contract that's the biggest thing. I think Mattel to make a figure of somebody they need to have a merchandise contract. So if he signs a merch deal uh, they can make t-shirts obviously they can make hats. They can make fart bags they can make, I should say, shit bags nowadays, huh? Huh? But they can make figures of you if you sign a merchandise deal. So hopefully he signed a merchandise deal, or he will soon, and uh, that will get us in with the, the WWE backstage, link him to the ring. I think by the end of 2020, I think this man will be on WWE television, and maybe by the end of 2020, this man will wrestle. Maybe at Mania, maybe at SummerSlam, maybe at the Rumble. Who the hell knows, guys? It's wrestling. Again, like all the people saying that he would never come back and all this stuff, I think that in wrestling you can never say never like people say that Chris Jericho will never be back in WWE I think that's ridiculous because in wrestling like anything is possible in the world of wrestling it's not like 
you know, other sports. It's like, uh, I guess you could say it's kind of like other sports, right? I mean, it's like Tom Brady will never not play for the Patriots, and then, you know, he turns up tomorrow and plays for a different team. Like, they, at one point, they tried to trade him. Everybody thought LeBron James was a Cleveland Cavalier for life. What happened there? So, I mean, anything is definitely possible, and it, it's proven here. It's proven here with him showing up on WWE backstage, because if he never wanted to be on WWE again, if he never wanted to work there again, if he never wanted to wrestle again, I don't think he would even mention this. However, I will say, he, uh, you know, he is big on analysts and commentating and things of that nature. He loves that. You know, he proved in WWE how he was a great commentator. Co co commentator. He proved he was a great commentator, and now, you know, he went over to UFC. He did some mixed martial arts stuff over there and talking about that. I think he really enjoys commentating, so I think that is why, you know, he did some stuff for them over there, and he did some different mixed martial arts commentating, and so this is probably just a way to get into that business, you know, work on that. This could just be a way to elevate that so he can get bigger and better jobs in the future regarding commentary. But I don't know, man. I mean, even if he were to be a commentator in WWE, maybe this is a stepping stone for him to become a WWE commentator. That would be fine. I'm not sure, guys. It's very early in the process. It was literally last night. I do believe. I'm pretty sure it was last night. If it was the last night, I'm completely a jackass. That's another thing. I mention jackass in my videos all the time. How are they going to deem me a kid's channel? It's not appropriate for children. Children shouldn't watch. So basically, guys, CM Punk is back. Uh, not, not completely back, but he's back. He's it, it, we're, we're stepping towards that is basically what I'm trying to tell you, but uh, we got the full collection here looking pretty freaking solid. I do have some basics, but they're trash. Who, who cares about the basics? They're garbage. You have the Elite 11, the Ringside Exclusive, the Elite 1, the All-Stars, the Elite 16, the Build-A-Figure, Best of Pay-Per-View Build-A-Figure, Best of Pay-Per-View, whatever the hell, WrestleMania figure that's also a Best of Pay-Per-View, and then the Elite 29. I think I'm missing two or three or four or five. I, I don't know. I think I'm missing another best of pay-per-view. The Elite Six. The Straight Edge Ringside Exclusive. That's three right there. Probably another one. Nonetheless, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on CM Punk coming back on WWE Backstage. I'm excited to see, you know, where it goes from here. I'm excited to see how he does in this role and just sort of see how it goes. Again, it could transition to the ring. It could transition to commentary. We don't know. It's very early in the process, but I did want to put up my thoughts. You guys, I figure, will want to know my thoughts and everything like that. But I could also possibly have a new MDT Live intro up uploaded in the next couple days to go along with MDT Live. I may post it up before MDT Live is fully posted, but nonetheless, guys, go read the community tab. Very important stuff over there. And also check out the rest of the videos on the channel. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so very much. I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and add one more shit bomb and, and jackass to the video so that we can stay away from that kid-friendly bullshit. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure adult videos, not aimed at children. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, where I do curse also, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.